so this is section 8.2, and this is question number 9 from your homework. It's solving systems of equations algebraically. So it's very similar to 8.1 where we're solving graphically, but we have to use the algebra now. So number 9 says, what? Okay, I guess my mouse hit something here. Uh, number 9 says, the perimeter of a right triangle is 60 meters. The area of the triangle is 10y square meters. Okay. So it looks like we can write two equations now, given this information and the diagram. So A says write a simplified expression for the triangle's perimeter in terms of x and y. So the perimeter is simply all of these uh, side lengths added up, right? And we're given that the perimeter equals 60. So we can write an equation. So that would be 2x plus 5x minus 1 plus y plus 14. So the perimeter has to equal 60. Uh, is it good now? Silly technology. Okay. <laughs> so simplify 2x and 5x is 7x. Uh, we have negative 1 and 14, so that's plus 13. And then plus y equals 60. Okay. So you simplify that. It looks like we're good to go uh, for the perimeter. That's A. Write the simplified expression for the triangle's area in terms of x and y, well, the area for a triangle is one-half base times height. Okay, so there's perimeter. Area now is going to be one-half the base, one-half times base times height, because it's a 90 degree, this side is the height, 2x. And that's going to equal 10y. So it says the area equals this. So, now listen, when you multiply three things together, you do not always have to multiply the first two things together. You can multiply the first and the third thing together. That's going to be easiest here, because look at this, one half times two x, the, that one half and the two uh, equal one when you multiply them. So this is just x times five x minus one equals 10 y. Um, and if we kind of distributed this a little bit, then we would have 5x squared minus x equals 10y, or 5x squared minus x minus 10y equals 0. However you want to state that, any one of these is probably okay. Okay? So write a, uh, a simplified expression for the triangle. Write a system of equations and explain how it relates to this problem. So I might have jumped ahead a little bit. Here's the, uh, the, now this is an equation, right, for the perimeter, and this is the equation for the area. So these are two different equations about two different things, but they're all about the same triangle. So that means that all of the pieces to each equation should be the same pieces because we're talking about the one and the same triangle. Okay, so think about it. If you're adding up all the sides of a triangle, and you're finding the area of the same triangle using two of the same sides, then all of the missing pieces for all of the sides should be the same, because we're talking about the same triangle. And the relationships hold true, even though they're two different relationships. So all that to say, this is guiding you through how to solve for x and y, given this kind of information. So now we're going to use these two equations and try to solve for x or for y. And algebraically, we can use substitution or we can use elimination, all right? Substitution or elimination. So let's see what might be most appropriate. Well, in this one, I have a single y here. That's great. And I have a, a negative 10 y. Okay, well, I could multiply this all by 10 and add up and get rid of the y's. That might be really good. Because what happens if I try and get rid of an x? Well, if I get rid of an x, then I still have an x squared and a y. We've got two variables. That's no good. So you want to get rid of the y, so you have one variable left in the, in the resulting equation. Okay, So let's get rid of the y's. So I'm just going to rewrite this real quick. I've rewritten these equations, but I noticed that I have two constants that can be um, combined a little bit here. So what's, let's bring 60 over to this side, and that's going to be 7x. What's 13 minus 60? That's going to be negative 47, I think, plus y equals 0. Okay, so that first equation is going to come like this. All right. <coughs> I've also written it like this so that you have columns 
of constants and the y's and the equals and everything else. So in columns kind of makes it a little bit easier to add, make sure you add like terms only. So in elimination, I'm going to do this. I'm going to multiply the second equation now by 10. So I can get a 10y here. All right. So this is going to be 7 becomes 70x. Uh, 47 becomes 470. And y whoops, becomes plus 10y. <coughs> Never see that? I've multiplied the second equation. When I add these up, I get 5x squared. I get 70 minus 1 is plus 69x. I get a 0 minus 470, so that's negative 470. And negative 10 and positive 10y are eliminated. <coughs> Excuse me. So I know this is seeming like it's a long time here, but now I have a quadratic that I can um, uh, that I can use the quadratic formula to solve or factoring or whatever. Okay. So where are we at here before we finish that? Write a simplified expression for the area. Write a system and how it relates to the problem. Okay. Solve for x and y. This is this was your actual question there, I guess. So what you can do is, if you, did you get something like this for a combined equation? Whoever was asking about this, can't remember. Okay, well, I'm not actually sure that I'm doing it right either. I think, I think I've got everything right here so far. So let's finish it with the quadratic formula and then see what we get for now. All right, so when you use the quadratic formula uh, to plug these numbers in A, B, and C, you should get two answers, 5 and negative 18.8. Now, if you go back here, negative 18.8 for x, okay, for x, you're going to get negative numbers here. So you can't have a negative side length. So it looks like we can reject the negative number. But we're going to focus on 5. Looks like 5 might work. So that's remember, that's just x. So I need to find out what y is given that. So I can use one of my equations, and I can solve for y. So let's use the first equation. And let's just do it right here in uh, another color, blue. Oh, uh, gray. So let's do 7 times the x is 5, plus 13 plus y equals 60, or y equals 60 minus 13 minus 35, uh, which is what? 47 is that 12? Does it look like 12? Am I doing that right? 48? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we have x equals 5 and y equals 12 for a possible answer. So let's double check to make sure that those are correct. Now remember, the area, the perimeter has to be 60, the, the area has to be 10y. So if we check all that out here, let me just let me copy this here down below. So x equals 5, y equals 12. So what's the area? The area is going to be 5 times 5 minus 1 times 2 times 5. So what's that? 24 times 10. And that's going to equal 10y, or equals 10 times 12. That's 120. Uh, 120? 10 times 12? Might have a problem here. Houston. Did I do that right? It's 5 minus 1, 24, 5 minus 10, 240, 2 times, oh, 10 times, what? 2 times y. This should be 10y is 12. What did I miss here? Okay, so area is 1 half base times height. Once we do that, 120 equals 120. Good. Does everybody see that now? Okay, see that now? I missed the 1 half there. Okay, so that seems to check out perimeter. Let's quickly check perimeter out. Um, so let's see, 2 times uh, 5, that's 10, plus, uh, well, 5 times 5 minus 1, we said it was 24, plus y is 12 plus 14, that's 26. So 10, and that's 34, and that's 50, that's 60. So 60 does equal 
60, we're good. Okay. So once you've checked all that, um, solve, verify, we're done. That's number nine. Okay. So yes, yeah, sometimes these questions take a long time, but um, you know if you put it all together, it should work. So does that help? Any questions about that one?